Alright, we're back on this uh, little WI. And I think what we'll do now is uh, we'll try and take the valves out and we'll uh, take a look at them, see how they are. I noticed on the last video uh, the volume was pretty low. You know, somehow the, the noise attenuator on this uh, camera was turned on and that makes uh, the microphone pick up things real low. But uh, I got it turned back. I got it turned off now, so uh, sorry for that. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it did. Stuff happened, so. All right, let me lower you down, and uh, maybe we'll try and get you to look inside there. Okay. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see in there, because it is dark, and plus I'm going to have to try and see, so I might have to turn it and cock it a little bit, but uh, you turn the light on, it might help you a little bit. Yeah, a lot of guys ask me how to, how to take these, uh, these valves out, and it's pretty easy. What I do is I, I usually get a big screwdriver like this, and that holds the valve up. Can you see the top there? Yeah, I guess you could. And uh, just tap it down. And if it don't tap down like that, that means you actually your screwdriver is actually on the pin. So you turn it a little bit. And see where the pin is. Okay. Turn a little more. Okay. I think we're okay now. You still in uh, you still in camera sight? No, not really. Okay. Okay. Now that's all the way down. And now you probably can't see it, but there's a little pin there. And you go in and try and grab the pin. And what I did is I actually pushed it in. So what you can do now, instead of trying to grab it, just push it in. I'm going to have to go grab a, a little uh, awl to push that through. All right, I got an awl. And uh, that's not a big deal. Now you just uh, push it through. You can see it. And I think it might have fell through the back. Maybe not. Let me get a flashlight so I can see. Okay. Yeah, I did push it through. Like I say, uh, the pin was right there. I did push it through, and now you just get the screwdriver out of the way. And that, that releases everything, and that should pull right up. I'm having trouble getting it up. Let me tilt you guys up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm having a little trouble getting it out because it's... Uh, it's got carbon on it, but uh, twist it twisted a little bit, and it'll come right out. Don't look bad at all. Alright, then you just uh, reach in there and grab the springs. You gotta lift it up over the, the tap it there, and uh, that'll come out. Then you got the keeper. That'll come out. So, uh, that's how they come out. Like I say, it's not difficult. And uh, if you can't grab the pin with needle nose, just push the pin through. Matter of fact, I, I didn't get the pin out. The pin's floating around in there. I'll get it. I had to get the pin out. Just have to uh, tilt it to the side there and give it a little tap. There it is. There we go. Won't lose that little pin. Alright, let me take this other one out. Alright, I got this one so I can grab this with the needle nose. There we go. I don't know if you guys could have seen that. You know, it's so dark in there. And then you just release it. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, this one has like a lot of carbon on it. I'm gonna have to get a pair of pliers on that and twist it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I had a tough time getting this one out. I had to put the pliers on it and, and twist it. And you can see how how thick the carbon is up there around the head, so I squirted some uh, aero coil in there 
And then you just uh, take it easy, you know, I mean, you grab it. You don't grab it so tight you damage or anything, you know, and you just twist it back and forth and ease it on up and uh, it'll come out. Just got to make sure we clean all the carbon out of that before we put this thing back together. All right, I think I'm going to take both these valves over there and uh, clean them up on the grinder. Actually, the wire wheel and uh, see how they are. All right, we're all disassembled now. Like I said, I wasn't going to take the cam out of this. I don't need to do that, but uh, we'll stick it in a parts cleaner here. Big parts go in a bucket. Here goes the crank. Little parts go in a can here. What I'm going to do is uh, take all these little parts and dump them in the glass here. I'm going to clean the condenser for the points. And uh, Or that lid, and we'll stick these in the, the bucket here. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit more cleaner in there. All right, looks like this here. We'll go in the big bucket. I'm gonna try and get that gasket off of there first. I think we can fit the car be in here. Yep, there we go. There we go. Then we'll put the lid on. All right, the head. Throw the whole head in there. Okay. Hmm. Still got a nice original sticker on there. Yeah. Maybe we'll clean that one by hand. All right. This here's uh, don't have any wheel on it, so uh, we won't put that in there. I'll throw this in here. Alright, yeah, these valves, they aren't horrible, but they're not the best. Let's see this one here. This one here is the exhaust. And uh, has a little bit of pitting on it, but not bad at all. You know, you probably lap that out. Now you can see. I'm going to let it focus in. Here we go. Yeah, it's got writing on it. I don't know what that is, but if you look way up here on the top, very faintly, you can see an EX. So that's the exhaust valve. Yeah, like I said, that one has a little bit of pitting. And this one here has a bit of a groove. So I think what I might do is uh, give these the mic, see if he can clean these up on his uh, his valve his valve machine there, you know. I hate to put new ones in this thing, but uh, and then I'll, I'll cut new seats. But uh, while we're waiting to do that, I was looking at this tank. I was going to cut it around the bottom here, you know, and uh, blast it and clean it. But after looking at it, I can actually get to this dent from the inside here, right here. So I can get most of that out. And the top is sunken in. I can, I can pull that out. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, put a handful of square nuts in this and... Uh, tape it to the lawnmower wheel. I'm not going to do it today because just had a downpour out there, but uh, I think we'll just try cleaning that out and in there and then uh, soldering on a, a cap and then uh, doing a little body work to it afterwards instead of uh, cutting that and re-soldering it and sandblasting it, and you know, because uh, it's pretty solid, you know. I mean, I don't see any, any even chance of having any holes in it, so. All right. That's where we're at. I'm going to go in and take a look at this and uh, we'll see how much uh, time we got on it. And if it's uh, a good bit, you know, we'll uh, see you in the next one. If not, you know, we'll, uh, like I said, we'll strap that to the lawnmower and take it for a ride. Alright, it's been a couple days and uh, I got all the stuff degreased and uh, some of it even cleaned up. The head cleaned up nice. And the piston. Piston and rod are, are beautiful, beautiful. Uh, still got uh, some stuff here. We have to do a little wire wheel to. Even the backing plate, you know, it degreased it and it's uh, pretty nice. This uh, this is working good now. Got a wire wheel, the starter cup, and 
this uh, little shroud just cleaned up nice take the paint off of that we'll wire wheel the rest of that and we'll be all right even the, the crank here turned out nice yeah it, the part up here that was rusted that was keeping from coming out I wire wheeled that and it uh, cleaned up nice and it uh, let's see if it goes in here okay here we go that's as far as it goes you see I couldn't really uh, clean any, any of that up because it was inside here but uh, that should be okay now Spins comes out, and uh, that'll be okay. Uh, yeah, this is this uh, all degreased. This has to be wire wheeled, and uh, that'll be ready to go. So uh, once we clean it up and paint it, uh, should go back together. But right now, it finally stopped raining after about three or four days, heavy rain. So uh, let me see what we got in here. Here we go. We'll uh, throw a handful of square nuts in here and uh, let's go uh, strap it to the lawnmower and we'll take it for a ride and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Here we've got the shade of the carb. The carb cleaned up pretty good. It's got some green paint on there so we got to soak it in some uh, lacquer thinner here and uh, that should pull the paint right off it. But uh, that carburetor's in good shape. Alright, we got it taped on there. It ain't spinning because the other wheel's spinning, but it's in there pretty good. And I got it in this lengthwise because the top and the bottom need cleaning more than anything. But uh, let me stop the other wheel. You could uh, leave that there and jacked up and uh, stop the other wheel and let that spin as long as you want. But uh, I got a moldy old lawn here, so uh, we're going to take that for a trip. And then uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get done. All right, finished mowing the lawn, so uh, let's take this off and uh, we'll bring it inside. Ugh. A little old dust on it. It's a good sign. There we go. We got a letter adjust to the light. All right, let me clean the table. Let me clean the table off here and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, I decided to bring this out here instead of uh, getting all this rust dust inside inside the garage here. I cut this with a razor so I can open this. So I'm gonna have to take it all the way off. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Tough time getting that off. Oops. A little windy out here. Yeah, not bad. I think what I might do is uh, put some uh, vinegar in there and and clean that up a little bit. But got got a lot of the crust out. Oh, there we go. The sun just came out. Yeah, yeah, got a little crust out. That's what we want. So now I'll uh, I'll throw some vinegar in there and uh, that should be all right. All right. We probably got enough here for a a video. I don't know if you can see in that hole there, but uh, it looks pretty clean. It doesn't look as clean in this hole here. Hmm. You feel? Huh. It feels pretty good. It feels smooth. All right. Let's uh, soak that in some vinegar and uh, call it done. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.